Hello, y'all. Welcome in to Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah with a little bit of a haul from just a bunch of different places. Just some really cool stuff that I found. Okay. I don't know if you watch uh, Life of a Millwife. It's Kelly and Kevin and their host of friends and Brody, the sweet little pupper. Um, they do a lot of hauls and they do food and they do cooking and they do games. They're just they're fun. They're in Canada, okay? They're in Winnipeg, Canada, like the frozen north for real. And um, they go to this place all the time called Value Village. And I've been like, totally jealous. I want to go to Value Village. I see all the cool stuff that Kelly gets there. Well, I was in Atlanta the other day, or the Atlanta metro area, which is huge. I was actually in Decatur, okay? Uh, which is in the Atlanta metro area. So for people who aren't from around here, it's Atlanta, all right? And I wanted to go, we had eaten a wonderful lunch at Lanzau, which is a handmade noodle place. You can watch them like make the noodles, it's amazing. Um, and I needed to go walk around because after a good meal, I like to walk around a little, little bit, you know, because that makes me healthy or whatever, okay. And I was looking, he, hubby didn't want to go to like Dollar Tree. I get it, you know. So I looked for discount stores. I love looking at discount stores because your girl's cheap, okay. Um, and I was looking and I scrolled a little bit and it said Value Village. And I went, what? No, really. And we looked and there were a bunch of locations around. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Are there any? And I gave it to the hubby to look at the address and stuff because he is super familiar with the Atlanta area. He drove as a courier for a number of years. And um, he's like, yeah, that this one's kind of on the way home. We can just take a detour. No big deal. I'm like, yes. So I went to Value Village. I went to Value Village. Ah! Okay, they didn't have all the cool craft stuff that the ones that, that Kelly and Kevin go to though, do though. Not quite as big, but that just could just be the location. Anyway, I was thrilled to go. I walked around and I was looking at all the things. And some of the things are a really good deal. Like, whoa, they had a boatload of books. I decided not to get an armload of, of cookbooks. Because I, you know, I need them so badly. As I look over at my rolling cart full of cookbooks, it has a couple of hundred on them and that's not all of them. Yeah, I, I tend to collect some things. Anywho, uh, I did find this though. <laughs> I have a mug problem as well. Let's see if it'll show it. No, I will not fix your computer. I thought it was super cute. Um, Hubby and I actually used to work on computers. He had a computer repair store. <clears throat> I am kind of a tech geek, but I'm just totally over it. This was marked 20, 20 cents. 20 cents, okay? But the yellow tag on, on the housewares or whatever was half off, so it was 10 cents. I got a mug for a dime. Yes, I was thrilled to pieces with that, and I thought it was super cute. And something else that I got on the cheap um, was some garland that I will use at some point in my office because... I decorate what's behind me because we have like Zoom meetings or whatever and I like to be festive and colorful. Yeah, this was a grand total of 60 cents. Okay, it's nice. It says for gifts and decorations. It's like little balloons and little stars and stuff. Totally cute. 60 cents. Yeah, I'll take it. That was it for my crafting stuff though. I did get some clothes. Now mind you, for work, I basically have to be dressed from here up like I am for the videos. I could be sitting here pantsless for all you know. I'm not though. But just, you know, just so you know, that that's how I can work because I work from home. Um, I love this. This was made in India. Oh my gosh. Hoping that you can see the design. It is beautiful, okay? I love this. Now this is probably not something I would be able to wear out because I'm too lumpy and frumpy, but it is super soft. It's polyester though, it's not silk, okay? Um, I got it for $7.69. That is so not bad. There were a lot of designer clothes there, though, that still were these kind of prices. Like, there was Calvin Klein, and there was... I'm trying to think of some of the other names. And they were, like, in smaller sizes, though. They weren't, like, in my size, okay? Um, so, yeah, if you're small and you can wear, like, a 6 or an 8 or a 10 or smaller, you could really jackpot up there for real okay i got that i got myself this cute little shirt because why not um and this one 
is a Kim Rogers woman, which is a brand that comes through Belk, which is a department store around here. I know I fit their stuff and it's a 3X and I was like, yeah, that'll work. Um, $2.69. And there it was probably $25 to start. Then they marked down and stuff, but it never gets down that low. And it's in fantastic shape. I got this one too. <clears throat> this is like, it's, um, it's a maxi dress with, but it's sleeveless. I love the print on this and it is super long. Hello. Um, this is a Lane Bryant. It's an 1820, but it, depending on the cut and the fit, I can still fit 1820s and hopefully I'll get back down to where I actually wear an 1820, like for real. But uh, this was 1069 and at Lane Bryant starting off, this was probably $65. Okay, and it is in wonderful condition. I don't see any flaws with it at all. It looks great. So totally worth it to me. And the final items from Value Village. I got like a, I call it a sleep slash work set. <laughs> it's got a top, this pink and, and darker pink striped. Yes, all you pink haters, I love pink. So... It's that, it's cute. Um, it's a white stag, which I believe, I've seen white stag at Walmart before. This is a 2224, so it is like totally up my alley there. And it comes with shorts, very big shorts, big shorts for a big butt, okay, I got a big butt. Um, but yeah, and this set was 569. Good deals. Good deals at Value Village. I'm so glad I finally got to go to one. And um, I hope that I can go back. So basically, whenever I get to go back to Atlanta, I'll probably be scooting by a Value Village or two while I'm there. I'm just saying. But that's what I got at Value Village. Thank you, Kelly and Kevin, for making me obsessed. Hello. And I will have them linked because they're a lot of fun. Um, let's see. Jennifer at Cinnamon Stitches, y'all all know Cinnamon Stitches, right? Was talking about this craft store. And are you kidding me? I probably don't even have the name of the craft store here, but I'll have it linked below because <laughs> I'm a doofus. And she did some macrame, okay? I did macrame when I was a kid in the 70s. Yes, I'm that old. Um, and I remember making plant hangers and she made some plant hangers. They were super cute. And I was like, you know what? That would be a good idea. This color would look great in my bedroom. This color would look great in the kitchen or in the living room because we have like a lot of browns and stuff in there. So I got some macrame cord and this is what it looks like. This is 100% cotton, which you can crochet with it if you want to. It's thick. I would say this would be a five weight if you were wanting to crochet with it, but you can do macrame with it. And the stuff that I did macrame with was hard acrylic stuff from what I remember. I was a kid, but I made plant hangers and I used to know how to do a lot of the knots. It's been a minute. I'll be looking at videos. But I got these two because Jennifer was talking about it and um, she ordered some and she made planters. And I was, you know, she was, a, she was a craft enabler because I need another hobby, right? Right? Anyone? Bueller? Nobody's saying I need another hobby, but apparently I have this. Notice I haven't started it yet. It's been sitting here for about a week. But that was pretty cool to receive that. I really wish... Oh, love and pieces. Love and pieces. Again, I'll have them linked down below. Okay. There is that. They're in California, by the way. Um, and I don't remember what I paid for it, but that's okay. And I went to Pop Shelf. You know I went to Pop Shelf. I always go to Pop Shelf when I can. And I got some really cool things. I got a paper cutter. No, it's not a good high-end paper cutter, but I don't own one at all. So this will be helpful instead of me trying to cut cards and stuff with scissors. And I'm not real good at that. So I got that. Speaking of, I got some blank cards there. Card stock. It's 12 envelopes and 12 cards. That is some nice card stocks. So when I make them, I don't have to try to make an envelope because I really don't know how to do that. Um... I got some paper. I thought this was a really cute paper set. It's just got a lot of happy fun patterns in there for the paper. Pop 
shelf, y'all. They have a they have a lot of stuff. Also at Pop Shelf, this is something that will end up in a giveaway. It is a printed tote by Boy. It's not a big heavy duty tote. It's just a little canvas, but crochet fast, die warm. I love it. I think that is so cute. This will end up in a giveaway at some point. Other things that I got there, they almost always have these and they're cheaper than their version of the same thing at Dollar General. And they are like, they're owned by the same people, Dollar General and Pop Shelf. These are usually two for six at Dollar General. They were two for five at Pop Shelf. I don't know if that was a sale or something, but I love these orange mints. And if I open them right now, I end up eating them like candy because you know, they're candy and they disappear way too quickly. So right now it's sitting there. Oh, got some more washi tape, just an assortment of nice sort of warm colors of washi tape, eight spools. And these eight spools of washi tape, they're five yards each, which is just, it's four, oh, just over four and a half meters. Um, so you get 40 yards total, which is just over 36 and a half meters. And it was five bucks. That's not too bad when you don't, when you don't have a collection of washi tape yet, because I need another hobby. And to top it all off, last but not necessarily least, I got some makeup because these were a buck each and I thought they'd be fun to try because I love makeup and I used to do a lot of makeup, but I don't go anywhere anymore. And now I have skin issues that keep me from doing like really a full face of makeup, which really annoys me because I miss it. Um, these are shimmer eyeshadow sticks in three really cool colors. This one Let's see if it has the color name on it. Probably not. Beauty Essentials Cosmetics. I have no idea who they are. And it probably doesn't matter. Probably a lot of stuff in it that's going to kill me or something. But this is a gold shadow shimmer stick. This is a purple shadow shimmer stick. And this is a sort of a blue green teal looking shadow shimmer stick. I thought they were fun for a buck a piece. I'll play with it, you know, we'll see what it does. I'll probably use it as eyeliner because that's what I do. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed my little mini haul today. It's what I get to do when I go out someplace. I like, it's a little retail therapy. I enjoy walking around the store, pushing the cart when it's not too busy. If there are too many like morons in there running around and just being stupid and loud, I gotta go. But, if it's a chill time, like you go at an off time, store's not too busy. You can just walk around and look at all the things and then walk and look at some more again. I drive people that I'm with nuts when I'm shopping because I walk up and down this aisle and walk over there and walk up and down these aisles. And then I go back to this aisle over here. Yeah, it's kind of what I do. So that's me shopping for some cute things, make some cards, wear some clothes, your village can you believe it i thought it was only in canada i just didn't know didn't know um maybe do some macrame at some point <laughs> oh my gosh what have i gotten myself into i will see y'all very very soon i would really appreciate it if you would like um subscribe if you haven't already i thank you for waiting this long to the end of the video that is awesome that really helps creators out as well as leaving a comment and hit that like button so i will see you very very soon and uh till next time Bye, y'all.